Hey, today I'm gonna to take this typical solar light. I'm gonna show you how to measure this and size it up just a little bit so that we can get this to fit in a larger sculpture like this pumpkin I did in Nomad Sculpt. And you want this to be right because you need this to drop right in so you can take this in and out easy. And you don't wanna mess this up because this takes 30 plus hours to print. So we're gonna be using some calipers today. I'm gonna to show you a few tricks on how to use these and how to use these to measure in different ways. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna use the calipers. These are really easy and simple to use. Inside here, you can use the jaws to measure, measure lips and lip, things like this. You can measure holes, but you don't really have, well, if we do have these on here, you can measure holes with the tails right here. And then you can also measure depth a couple different ways. There's two different ways, and it depends on how big. Um, this is the best way to measure depth because it's got a larger surface on it. And then this one's better for measuring in small holes, so you can measure how deep those are inside here. And, whoops, did not do that right. You gotta have the, that flat. It's hard to see, probably. So put this in here, and you can measure how deep those are. You can also do that here, but that's hard to get this where it's not tilted. So the other position to measure is from right here. And you can measure, put this up against and you slide this until it hits, and that's another one that's very probably going to be very hard to see. You do it this way. So you put the top of the calipers in, and then drop this down, and you get a nice measurement. So, so several different ways to use calipers to measure objects. All right, so for this particular project, now that we have that quick intro out of the way, oh, one more thing to zero your calipers, and a lot of these are all pretty similar if you get just cheap calipers like this. If you, you turn them on, it'll have your measurement, wipe your jaws right here so you don't have anything in here. Especially if they're brand new, they'll have a little bit of oil and residue from the machining on them. Now to zero them, you just hit the zero button. It'll zero your calipers out, close them again, and it should be about zero. And you don't want to just hammer on this and push on it because you can see you can make those change dimensions because you're squeezing in on them. You just want to gently close them and it should zero. You can also change between millimeters and inches. I usually leave it in millimeters um, simply because the all your printers are all in millimeters. So it just makes more sense to leave it in mils. Plus your even in Nomad Sculpt, it's all in millimeters. Your default cube is a one millimeter cube. Um, and it's a one millimeter sphere that's in there when you start. So easier just to leave it in millimeters. So for this project, our main dimensions we need are the outside and the inside. And I will put up on the screen what I got with the last one and how much I added. I basically added a little bit more than a millimeter to every dimension just to make it easier to make everything happen. And you come over here and measure how thick this is. And then to get this thickness, well, once again, we'll just use this and close it up and read your caliper. Now, these measurements can be different from what I got on the last one that's just plastic and they're different. And it's one of those things, it depends on how, how accurate you wanna be. You can sit here and take several measurements and then just kind of take the median range of them if you like. Most of the time, cross them and that's good, it's, that's enough to make this happen. So once you've taken this dimension here and this dimension here for these two outside diameters, you just need the thickness of this and a lip. And that pretty much covers it. Now that you have all your dimensions taken, let's go into Nomad Sculpt and I'll show you how to make an accurate cutter for using in your sculpts. First thing, let's grab a cylinder and you can see that I already have this blown up to full scale. So what we're gonna do is turn the pumpkin off and if you hit the home button, we'll go right to this. All right, now remember, the dark dots are the ones you wanna use for sizing. So we need to put our reference image in. I already have this in. If you don't know how, just click on the whatever image is in there and you can import from wherever you have your, have these. I already have this set up because you can scale it and position it wherever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start with D, which is the main part of the body, and that one is 
going to be 76 and a half millimeters so if we click on the orange pinkish peach looking dot and put in 76.5 hit OK and you'll see this thing blows up crazy so just hit the home button again and now you have this big flat skinny disc and that one is 22 tall so click on the dark one 22 hit OK and now we got our disc now we're gonna go up here to the three dots in the menu and just increase the division so it's nice and round and not all faceted around the sides all right so let's turn on the grid and you can see that we're right in the center so if we come up to the gizmo menu and you'll see that weird negative 6.2 e-07 it's just because this thing has been blown up so big it, it looks really weird okay now we can do another one or we can clone it however you want to do this we'll come up and clone this one use the gizmo this gizmo bring this up oops no mean to scale it all right click on the the top gizmo at the top there and get your radius buttons again now this one's going to be 86 so do 86 right here and this little green one will be three all right so that's our disc now if you want to put this perfectly on top of what you have right there since this one's 22, so that's 11, plus half of that would be one and a half. So at 12 and a half, we'll come up here. It was, once again, this the weird translation, it's so much easier to just send this to the origin. Move that to the origin, and then we can move this up to 12.5. And now it's right at the top. And that's right what we want. Now, if you want to make sure that that's correct, paint this one a different color real quick so you can see it. Just paint it whatever color, it doesn't matter. This one will go to transparent. And you can see that it's sitting right on top of the other one right there. You see that weird speckled pattern that's telling you it's directly sitting on top. Okay. Now, this is the size of your cutter. To cut this out of the pumpkin, you're probably going to want to make the bottom a little deeper and the top a little thicker, and we'll see that in just a second. Okay, we're not going to validate these yet. We don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to opaque. Come back into our menu. We'll grab, let's see, we can turn those off. Turn this one on. Now, Let's turn these off real quick. Take a look at the pumpkin and see if it's in the middle of the world. It's kind of hard to tell. We'll go ahead and move to origin, so it's good. All right, uncheck that one. We'll turn these back on and bring it up and take a look. Use the gizmo. All right, so it's being weird. There we go. Sometimes it'll be, has to catch up. Oops, I want them both. And the gizmo, okay. Now, we've got this pretty much where we want. You can see this is gonna cut pretty nice. But you see, as we bring this down, it's gonna sink down in, and it's obviously not gonna cut all the way through. And that's what I said, you may wanna make one a little thicker. So here's a quick little trick. This one, let's paint this one black. Oops, and actually paint all, paint all. Okay, now let's clone this one and make another, bring it up. So clone, bring this up. We'll go ahead and paint this a different color as well. Doesn't matter, whatever, okay. Now we can stretch this one 
and this doesn't necessarily have to be exactly right on top it can be inside just a hair and that looks good okay so now we can grab all three of these and your goal is just to hide the black so you don't see any black anywhere so you know that that would be dropped down below and that's perfect right there now if we look inside a little hard to see but looks like the red cylinders thick enough to make it all the way through and if it's not you can always grab all three of these pull it up and at this point it doesn't matter anymore you just want to make sure that your depth is correct got the bottom one selected stretch it a little and bring it down grab all three of these and Hide that because the most critical thing is just I want that lip hidden. All right, and that looks good. And if we look inside, it will cut perfect. All right, so then we can turn all these off. Select this, grab the Boolean, and you can cut with any one of these. I'm just going to use the Boolean because it's easy. And it'll take a second because there's a lot of mesh for it to think about. And that looks perfect. So that would be a perfect cut all the way through. All right, so this is a quick, easy tutorial on how to measure something like this and cut out of another shape so you can make something out of your sculpts. All right, I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks.